Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, players. It's another wonderful Friday this August of 2023, making it a wonderful day for basics. And I'm over here on the good old Foxies on my Atari Meow account. Good old three on Atari Meow. And this month, as you know, it is time to talk about pincers. And we're going to do so now. All right, got ourselves a game here against someone who's eh, one and two. It's fine. I'll do a four, four, three, four here. Hopefully he does a three, four. He didn't. That's okay. I'll approach the four, four rather than the three, four. That gives us something to talk about. Now, if I play here and he pincer, there's a temptation to pincer off of that one. I suppose we can do that. I suppose we can do that. He's going for the influence. Interesting decision. He's giving me Sente. All right, I'll take my enclosure. Now I have an enclosure and an extension. It's in really, really good shape. I like it a lot. The attachment onto the f onto the uh, four four points not that great. He, th he probably plays it because he thinks I have to play this one, and then he gets to like play here, here, into a two-space extension, so it's perfect. But you can always hide on the outside on a small knight in particular. Um, once again, I think I don't care. Mm. I'll play this one. It's, it's better. I, I was thinking about going for the outside, but this is okay. He gets to play here, here, into here, but it's okay. Don't drop down. Don't turn because it fixes his shape. Now he's got a lot of pressure on him. And I will be continuing to apply pressure to him. He might play elsewhere, he might not, I don't know. If he approaches, this is where we would really want to do a pincer. Because we can attack this. Regrettably, I want to jump out again, because the cap is pretty good for development and stuff. Um, no. Nothing there for you, sir. Nothing there. Bum, ba, bum, ba, da, da, bum, bum, bum. Now, I do want to approach and see if I can't... Uh... Ooh, I push on the inside and you'll pincer. This threatens to do that. Okay. So, like I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and throw in, or uh, person inside, he'll pincer to build, which, or not. I'll back off since he had really good building potential here. So, if I can just go ahead and get a whole bunch of stones here and ruin it, that's fantastic. That's not a threat. That's just Jaseki. He can play whatever he wants. I do not mind. Is he going to extend again? If he extends, do not Tane, because then he goes back here and clamps, and you're done. Um, um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can defend this real quick. That's all I'm really doing here. There, it's defended. Uh, now it's defended, I can play away. If I'm looking for specifically for pincers, thinking of a reason why he is going to approach, and then I would pincer to attack things. Okay. I'll make him heavy. Uh, there's no reason to play away. Yeah, building here to use this wall effectively just makes sense. And now we're just going to surround him because we're not trying to kill him. Go is called the surrounding game, as I'm sure you've heard once or twice. Once or twice, you've probably heard these things. Uh, I guess there's no reason to leave this open. Like, we, we got what we came for. We got the corner stuff. We got a full surround. This bottom right is worth like 60 points. Is that anywhere close to true? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. It's close to true. Yes, yeah, see, there you go. Don level estimation. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I'll go ahead and just uh, surround or connect one of those words. I'll do something. We're connected. I feel that my opponent and I are really connected right now. <laughs> make sure he can't. Yeah, I'll go ahead and make sure that he can't, you know, squeeze my corner and get uh, stuff here. Then go back to the surrounding game and see if he's dead. He might be. It is distinctly likely he is dead. I congratulate this really big corner that he has, so that's, that's a lot of points. That is a lot of points. It's just this, he handles his groups very, very badly. Regrettably. Yeah, regrettably he's handling his groups very, very badly. He's got completely surrounded. This is getting uh, very, very surrounded as well. I'm getting super duper amounts of strength. He might think that that's not going to be worth anything. Unfortunately, these things have a way of being worth something. Just because you figure a way to live here uh, doesn't mean the, the, the variation went well for you. Because you just give away too much thickness. And at that point, it's, uh, well, hasta lasagna, don't get any on you, you know? So I can play here, for example. And I can play here, for example. And now we're connected. So we're building a large area again. Is he going to just like YOLO in there and reduce again? If he does, it's going to come with some uh, costs, let's say. Don't let him turn and build. Can he live? If I attach here, he honors, I cut, he goes there, there, but there, 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 there. Um, he dies. Yeah, I think I think if I play here, he dies. Pretty sure he dead. He did. Cause I play here, he honors here to save himself. We cut. He Atari's, we extend, he extends, we Atari down and Hane, he Atari's into an Atari, and then that leads to the death of these two stones. So that would be unfortunate. I'm debating about what I want to do about that. Because that's some, that, that's some like, high-level stuff that I say I don't play in these kind of games. Yo, yo, uh, Alright, we're going to extend again. If he goes in, after I've clearly put him behind enemy lines, I'll kill him. Okay, I, I admittedly, I said that kind of believing that he would defend himself. Uh, he didn't, so this isn't my fault anymore. I thought about that one for a very long time. I gave a perfect reason as to why this is not getting cut off. And then I was just going to go ahead and build some territory through here, and then with like the large corner I got here and here, it was going to be fine. Uh, spoiler, it's not fine anymore. He's just dead in the middle of the board. I didn't anticipate that. I didn't anticipate that. So we defend that to make sure that that's a thing. We go ahead and poke here because we're solid. You have an emergency con. Captain Thulu, you have the con. Or something. We're connecting on up, connecting on up, connecting on up, connecting on up. Uh, I don't think we got to re answer that one, like, at all. I'll go ahead and maybe defend here or something, pretending that that's a problem. I don't know, maybe. I couldn't tell you. Ba -na 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 -na. So this game, it looks like he is firmly in the realm of... I love to um, make territory. I like building and invading. 
Fighting is not his forte. He needs to seriously work on that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that just to make better shape. Since the whale that we are hunting is uh, has been captured. Mr. Moby over here, I think, is dead. And now, nothing else really matters. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a reinforcement here. Like, the middle's dead, and I got cornered, so this game is over. The rest of this is going to be time-lapsed. Yoyomi now starts. Oh, he resigned. Okay. Um. So yeah, I we were thirty points up because I mean that once the death of that was there, that that was the end of that. But this is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen points. So hypothetically, just surrounding it, uh, and if he like connected out or something, we probably could have won anyway. It looks like because these stones themselves aren't thirty points. So if I got a tight surround on the back end of this group, then Still win. Now, admittedly, that was not very pincery because he didn't approach. Like, if they don't approach, I can't go over pincer games. Let's try again. All right, got another game here. Trying to talk about the pincers. <laughs> Oh, very unusual move. Very unusual move indeed. We'll go ahead and approach it. This could be a pincery game. Now, there's a lot of variations here that I'm just not going to go over because I just don't care. I'm just going to go and play this one instead. It's not the best variation by a long shot, but I've settled, so I am over it. Now, is there a reason to pincer here? There actually isn't. Why would I pincer? There's literally nothing there to go after. I'd just be trying to reduce, and I'd be getting rid of my own potential in exchange for that. He can play this move, and it still leaves two three-pointers. So that's not very scary. I'll approach him instead. I'll allow the 3-4 to be open. The reason why a lot of pincers have fallen by the wayside right now Regrettably, is simply because I don't have a reason to pincer a lot of the times. Oh my god, what do I have to do to get someone to actually like approach my corner so I can pincer them? Like, is this a conspiracy? Do they know? They know, don't they? All right, we're in closing. This is very, very difficult. I said this is the month of pincering and explaining why you pincer, and apparently we can't find a reason to. Like, do you see one? I don't see one. All right, so I got the got a corner enclosure, closure extension is a 3-3, three, three, an invasion point. Weak group to weaken attack, uh, all the standard... All the standard stuff people love to do.
Just keeping this low. I am going to drop down and defend. It's just trying to keep him on the up and up. You know, keeping him all good old honest. I think his name is Abe. Therefore, I want him to be honest. Ooh, that he really shouldn't have taken that stone, sir. That was too slow. That was too slow. I'll go ahead and take my points. All right. Now, this is an interesting move. He's put a move here that he can't live with, and he can only run away. So I get free territory here. He's going to do the running away thing again. Hmm. Well, I'll, for, okay, for, for basic sake, I'll defend here. You don't have to, you can just start surrounding, because the cut's not really uh, a problem. Poke. Now, hypothetically, let's say I wanted to attack. How would I go about doing that? It's actually quite simple. You lean on him. Get all the force moves you can out of him. And then you just cap and kill him. I forgot about the part where he apparently... eagerly allows this all to occur. Tower and extend up, and someone's going to have a very bad day. All right. Now you cap him, he can't go anywhere, he's dead. Regrettably, that's not alive. So now this is a group is dead. Um, no, there's nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Forgot to tell you. Forgot to tell you. That, yeah, we're out of places for you to run to. It's, there's just nowhere for you to go. Still nowhere to go. Still nowhere to go. Hmm. Oh dear. Regretfully, he is now fully surrounded and thus he is dead. Sorry. Go ahead and fix, I guess. Oh, this was not what I wanted this month to be. This month was not supposed to be. Just stab them in the face until they stop twitching. That is not what this month was supposed to be. Oh my god. All right, so once again, game's over. Because he plays here, he plays here, he play there, you pass. Ay, 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 ay. There's nowhere to go. Still nowhere to go. Still nowhere to go. They can just go ahead and cut through. Um, uh, sure. This is alive. We can Hane here and kill him. We can take this and kill him. So we're just gonna go ahead and play here, I guess. 
That way, this is going nowhere. And there's nothing to do in there. This is completely solid. I've got all my eyes. There's no Aji in there, so I don't really know what he's trying to do. Yeah, I really couldn't. I really couldn't say what this is trying to do. Maybe try to get that move in Sente so we can like get the get the thing in. I don't know. I don't know. But I've already got my eyes, so there's literally no threat here. Oh no. Let's see what he can do. Okay. So this is a classic life and death problem. Um, I don't really want to play a... Yeah, I don't really want to play a Ko. I don't have to. We can just go ahead and clamp. He can play here. We can play here. If he plays here, we do this one. If he plays here, we just do this one. So that is a dead corner. I got my eyes. It, this would be a very awkward way to actually kill this corner if I had to capture it because I'd be getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, stones here, but I'd be having to go and play here and here, and then he takes, so that's four, and then here, and then here, and then here, and then he takes. So that'd be four, five, six, seven. Like, it's actually a really, really, really bad thing to do. The attachment into, like, trying to cross-cut or something is really uh, popular right now for some reason. A lot of times you can just either Hane or just extend if he has nowhere to run to. I mean, either of those ideas are completely A-OK. -okay. Yeah, you have to be careful of capturing this way, because... You take 10 stones, but he might be capturing 10 stones as well. So rather than profiting 20 points, maybe you only profited 10. Literally one point per stone to capture that. It's not, it's not very good. Yoyomi now starts. Okay, Biyomi has now started. Let's go ahead and connect because it's kind of hard to live where he is and by kind of, I mean, he can't. So I would definitely call that difficult. Could probably Hane and just kill him. Let's go ahead and just take the outside though. This is fine. I am a fan of all the things that are occurring here. All right, that is a lot of outside influence. Don't really care about that. We're after the outside influence right now, so if you will excuse me, I will be securing that right now. Don't give him the Hane until you're strong. Now we're strong. Because we have maximized our libertades. Nowhere for him to go. Connect solidly. Don't give him cutting points or free uh, Atari to try to mess with Eon. This cut works. He could do that. He is going to do it. Okay. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum. I'm not sure if it's a good move, per se. Because he does get this in. But that one's Sente. And that means he forgot to not let me come in.
I'll just connect up. I have enough territory. Did we make a mistake just now? We might have. If he plays here... No, he plays there. We go there. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Um, nowhere for him to go in there. Just connect that up. And that is game. So here, we're up by like 80 points. Uh, gotta work on those invasions. They are very, very, very important. Maybe this is invasion month, not, not anything else, huh? So we played here. This was the first weird move. Like he's invading, but there's no reason for him to be invading. So we just took our territory. He gave me Sente, we took more territory. He invaded again, but again, there's no way for him to live locally, so I don't mind. That queued our uh, attack on up. Leaned on him to get stronger and then capped him. When you're attacking at Dawn level, and even at Q level, you can start doing this too. You always want to lean on whatever is strong to attack the thing that is weak. So I gave him a bunch of territory up here for free. We didn't have to do that. You absolutely don't have to do that. Like, I could have gone ahead and been like, okay, I'm just going to play, uh, not that. I'm going to play over in here, and then he can do whatever, and then we're going to go ahead and invade or something. But then these stones actually start being used efficiently, and you just, why? Why, why are you letting your stones be efficient like that? It doesn't make any sense. Instead, you divide. You can play this way too, I suppose. This way is not bad. He'd still be worrying about his own uh, stones. So that is definitely something. Like you can see how just over and over and over again, you can like lean and lean and lean and lean and lean and lean and lean. And to keep trying to kill your opponent. And over and over again, it's like, it, it's fine. But yeah, we did it this way instead. He had to answer. If he comes out now, we go here, here, and to here. That becomes very problematic. Now the question is, can he even live in both spots simultaneously? Kind of hard to do. Kind of hard to do. Just saying. So at the very least, we got this one, right? He can't go here because of that. If he plays there, self Atari. So he's got here, here, into here. Like, this is the shape that he's making. So, minute I push, he's got to be careful. And then this is, sadly, just cut him off so he can't go wherever he's trying to go. And then he's dead. Crazy game. Crazy, 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 crazy game. Hmm... Pincer month is not off to a good start, is it? It's kind of murder month. Maybe I need to switch servers. Maybe we need a server switch. That's that's what we need, I feel. Yeah, I feel we need a server switch so people try to actually like build or approach and stuff, and then we can talk about pincers a bit more. Hmm. Huh. Maybe it's time to go back to KGS. That could be a plan. Hopefully next week, definitely Pincer Day. Join me for that.